Buddha said desire is the cause of suffering. Suffering, of course, is pain. Pain fucking sucks. Does it serve a purpose? Welcome to Beyond Polarity. This is Vlad V. Today, I wanted to address the issue of pain. Most of us go through our lives trying to just find a comfortable point and post it all the way to the grave. That's just not gonna happen. They say that the difference between fear and excitement is your attitude about it. Well, pain is the exact same way. Anybody that works out knows that that is the lactic acid burning your muscles away and rebuilding them stronger. A lot of the old school martial arts, in order to graduate, you would have to break the fifth metacarpal on a stone so that it would break and mend stronger. Bones strengthen under pressure. Soccer players will have increased bone density in their shins. In glasswork or metallurgy, you will temper the glass or the steel, and this will cause the weaknesses in the structure to stabilize and make them stronger. We have to remember that there's no growth in the comfort zone. Growth in nature is a violent thing. Take into consideration the oak seed, for instance. There is a small explosion that occurs when it goes from seed to sapling. There's two kinds of growth. There is the growing pains of just existing, and then there's personal growth. The natural growth occurs by not getting what you want getting your heart broken, not getting a promotion, deaths in the family. This is just natural pain that occurs. Every time you get hurt, you grow stronger. It's really important that you actually kind of put yourself in harm's way. And I'm not talking about something ridiculous like jumping off a building or actually putting yourself in a position where you might die. I am talking about putting yourself in situations where you are uncomfortable. Growth involves discomfort. Typically, the more uncomfortable you are, the more willing you are to follow through with that discomfort and find your way through it, the more growth you will experience. Personally, between discomfort and comfort, I'll choose discomfort every time. You'll learn a lot about yourself. We are here to learn. Every time we hit a wall, that is a lesson that we have to learn. If we don't learn that lesson, we're gonna hit another wall that's exactly the same. The bodies may change, which is to say the people, the situation may look different, but energetically, it'll be the exact same event repeated with a different disguise. So it's important to take charge of your personal growth. Don't just let life happen to you. Actually put yourself in uncomfortable positions so that you can learn. Because like Owen from Real Social Dynamics says, as above, so below. And the way he explains this, if you have this oak without a root system that can support its weight, it will not stand. It'll fall over at the smallest wind. There's a great quote by Peter Marshall that says, when we long for a life without difficulties, remember, oaks grow strong against the wind and diamonds are made under pressure. I think that's how it goes. There might be a little bit more difference. A lot of us try to numb pain with drugs, alcohol, sex, distractions in general. This is like hitting a pause button on your growth. Yes, for a minute you will not feel the pain, but as long as you're not feeling that pain, you're not mending, you're not processing, you will not become stronger. So basically you can pay now or you can pay later. The most valuable commodity that we have in this life is our time. So don't waste time. Feel the pain. Let it process. Let it go. Grow from it and be ready for the next adventure. Next time a similar situation will present itself, you will be ready. You'll learn to avoid getting in a painful predicament and graduate to the next level. Now a lot of people take the opposite route. They'll actually wallow in the pain. They will actually juice the pain and sit there and feel sorry for themselves and juice their friends or sympathy and they'll use pain that way. This is not productive at all. Whether you're holding on to the pain by not dealing with it or holding on to the pain because you're juicing it, either way, this is a blockage. Your life will be on hold until you process this pain, until it tempers you. A lot of people will say, wow, that guy is so well tempered. That's what that means. So until you allow this annealing process to happen to your character, you'll be stunted. The bottom line is, pain is the fire that tempers 
us so we don't break so easily. And there's no growth in the comfort zone. You stagnate. If you don't learn to appreciate your pain and start looking at it as something positive, like the lactic acid that burns through your muscles, rebuilding them stronger, you will not learn the information, you will not grow. The universe will repeat the exact same scenario until you learn it or until you deny it till the day you die or until you juice it till the day you die. So it's your choice what to do with the pain. It's your choice to either view it as a curse or a blessing. I choose to see it as a veiled blessing. It sucks to hurt, but I know that I'm coming back stronger every time. And I've been right every single time. The end lesson here is no pain, no gain. I got a little quote I use for breakups. It sucks to get burned, but that's how you temper steel. What doesn't kill you does in fact make you stronger. You're gonna experience pain regardless, as long as you live and breathe. So make the most of it. But like Wesley said from The Princess Bride, life is pain. Anyone who says different is selling something. Till next time, vlogging beyond polarity.